Hello, my beautiful Scorpions! Welcome to one of our timeless readings. As you know, loves, a lot of you have been asking for these such readings, and here we are. Either you see this video in the moment I'm posting, either later, no, that's the time you need to hear these messages. And we are looking today into your next happy moment. What will cheer you up soon? Speaking about soon, this could be as we speak right now or within three months up to six months. No longer than that. So let's see, darlings, what will cheer you up soon? What's your next happy moment? And Scorpios, this is a Sun, Moon, Rising, Signs, and Venus reading. My highly resonate. Glad to hear your feedback. If does, if doesn't, just let it go. Probably might not be your energy. But if you click for this video, that means you do have something to hear about. Scorpio, underneath we do have the High Priestess. It's kind of you know what is going to cheer you up. As well, yeah, you are a water sign, a fixed water sign. Let's mention that too. And the High Priestess speaks about intuition. Intuitively, you know what most likely I will speak about in this reading. It's incredible, right? But let's see. Yes, I feel here I'm speaking with a very highly intuitive Scorpio. Having this special two cards around, you, you could be a very intuitive Scorpio or you could be someone who, who you know things, but very rarely you tell others. So this could be related to some kind of event in your life or some kind of energy that you put in in work. That's the loves. Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Five of Cups, and Chariot. Okay, so there's something here or someone is going to come forward. It's kind of like you, you want this person to come forward. You really want it. But it seems here this person didn't show up for quite a long time. But it's not like they're going to come here to stay. But more likely they will come here and see how far you gone. Or how far you are. And how behind they are. Wow. It's not like about you want to show off or anything. No. But I feel here there is something here this person could not believe that you will make it or you will do it. But it's kind of now they will see it with their own eyes. It's not like who's the boss here. No. But who take ownership for their actions or for their sayings. It's kind of something here you you said, I, I'm going to put in effort. And somebody's like, I don't believe you are going to make it through. Or I don't believe you will be able to keep it up even a month or two. There's something here about that energy. But yes, here you are. Here you are. We have a Knight of Cups. Let's see. For some of you, could be a father figure who never thought you are going to make it through or you will actually be able to keep something going or do something. But I feel here for some of you, you took the ownership or you take the ownership of something. Let's see. Ten of Swords. The Devil. Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So here we are, loves. Could be a, a person you knew or could be someone you detach from. 
but I feel here you need to put a lot of effort into whatever here you you become. So it seems here, look at this. Wow, it's it's kind of a flashlight here. Because I, I, I feel like I need to, um, to detach these two cards from these two. Because for some of you, no matter whatever you've done somewhere was never good. Was bad, well, you were this, you were that. Somebody here could be even with their words telling you certain things. Or, you know, verbally could, you know, manipulate. Verbally you could be abuse you. Okay, or could tell you you will be never you know good enough, or you will never be let's say you will never be a good mother or a good father, or you will never make it work for yourself, or you will be whatever. Well, now when you detach from that toxic energy, you become or you emerge into a very healing, beautiful energy. And it's not like they influence you in a bad way or not. Because I feel here you had that bubble. Because I see here you are very protected from, you know, a bad mouth here or someone. But moving away from that energy, detaching yourself from whatever was or who was, give you the opportunity to see who you truly are or who you truly can become. So let's clarify here, first thing first, this devil energy. I don't feel here ever was about love. I don't have much cups here besides the four of cups and the five of cups. For some of you, you could strive somebody to see how much effort you put in or how much you give them or how much you was there it was never enough. And that was not you. You did not do the right thing. It's dumb because whoever needs to see your true worth will see no matter what. You don't need to tell them what you do or how you do or how much you put in there. Somebody here, if you are around the wrong person or around the per wrong situation or whatever, you will never be good enough. Okay? Let's see the devil energy. And I feel here you... It's, it's like somebody here suck your energy. Seven of Cups, clarify the devil. Seven of Swords, look at this. And Five of Pentacles. This, whoever here, definitely they were in a very, very low vibration. So if you detach from a specific person or a specific situation, you probably done the best thing ever because I feel here you made the decision to move away. For some of you, even move at the distance. Let's see here, one more card connects to the Five of Pentacles. But I feel here, whatever here you've done, this person didn't believe you. How dare you are. I feel here this person could have a very loud voice or again they could speak in a certain way that really really hurt or they had this way of talking that kind of like cut you through. Okay, now I want to clarify this Nine of Pentacles because I see you in this Nine of Pentacles. I see you in this Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands. For some of you, you are now in such a, a strong, higher vibration. Goodness, because King of Wands is a doer, is a goer, is a... 
for some of you, you are entrepreneurs. It's like from, because sometimes the devil is a 9-5 energy or nothing wrong with those who work a 9-5. Don't get me wrong, but it's a very kind of scheduled life when you could never had that, you know, codependent or depend on something. Or it's like you really wanted your life to be free or fully free. Also, Queen of Swords and King of Wands are very opposite energy, the hot and cold. And here we have the Page of Pentacles. So somebody here is think of you very, very small. Okay, but you are not small at all. One more card next to the King of Wands that clarifies the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and now we have the Page of Wands. Some of you, you literally move on from a person to another, or for some of you, you literally moved from one energy that was really low vibration to a very high vibration energy. This is super beautiful energy. It's like for some of you, you like feel like how I get so, so lucky. You know, sometimes a lot of bad things happen in the wrong environments. We don't need to be. And now what I'm seeing here, we have the Four of Wands the four of swords and the four of cups the four of pentacles is the one missing and the four of pentacles is that like greedy mindset pentacles also it's slow energy or that energy of holding back and now you realize that you never can hold back on those or that energy that doesn't fulfill you if you continue on your journey, if you continue what you want to do, or if you detach from the energy that doesn't fulfill you, I see you very far away. So what will cheer you up are the results that are coming in. For some of you, you might buy a house or you might have a business. There's a lot of growth and the other person might be very broke or might be very, very heavy in debt. Whatever here is, whoever is this person, air sign, earth sign, doesn't matter. But I see here, this person lives in a very, very low vibration compared to you. Compared to your energy. That's why you could not go further with this person and yes this person might come forward they may want to speak to you think about if you even want to speak with this person or if you want to meet them or see them because i feel here they they could have a big realization let's see here will you speak with this person or not let's see what's the vibration around this King of Cups, Page of Wands, and Temperance. I feel here will be a very small conversation between you and this person. But also, before you have this conversation or this energy, you will have very strong protection or will be surrounded by a big protection energy. For some of you, is this um, this person might want to talk about finances or something here. They they I don't know. You live with them five years or been with them five five eight years. But I feel here you you might just respond very quick. I'm, I'm fine, thank you, or something like that. But I feel here you are in such a, a balanced, serene energy with the, with the temperance and the ten of pentacles. Like, you definitely are doing great. I don't feel even 
even this person will want to talk or whatever here, they can't, I am hearing, penetrate that good energy. It's like you, if you have a family or business, everything is protected. So you have divine protection here. Will cheer you up that this person is coming in a sense of yes, but this person, believe it or not, they're not much changed, whatever you are. Okay? But yes, for some of you, it's just kind of like they will see you in a certain way because they could see you as the sun, very childish when you are the emperor. And I feel here somebody here might say, well, I... I see in a way, I'm sorry, I see you so small, or I've been doing this to you, or I've done this to you. Whatever, whoever they are. What advice? What advice we have for you, darlings, from spirit, from the universe? Three of swords. Lovers. Wow. Queen of Wands. For some of you, you are already here with someone. For some of you, you choose love over dependency or you choose to love, not hate. And it's kind of you send them love, not hate. And what will even surprise you is the energy that will come for you. Queen of Pentacles. Yes, for some of you... This is a very, for some of you, you already have a family, you're ever kind of healed, and it's more likely advice is send them healing and love. I feel also there's somebody here could hate you, or could be very hateful, or could said hateful words, but they now realize that that will come to them, or it's coming to them in a form. But it's kind of the, the the way you are, you are, it's like you are a light energy, they are very dark energy. And it's kind of you, you try to bring good into them. But there's not, there's not good unless they will see good. Yeah. So it's kind of like you, you definitely will let them go. Or, again, I have earth, air energy. But this person is kind of very, you know, I always um, appreciate the light workers, the dark workers, the, um, the angels, the demons, the, um, the dark powers, the, the light powers. But I feel here the energy you care, it's very light this person the energy they care it's very dark and for some reason they can't get to the energy of the light so if this person was around you for quite a while they were feeding from your energy and that's why probably things got so so crazy or greedy or whatever and that's how great you become wherever you are moving or how awesome your life become. Because you focus on the light and to grow the light, not to diminish the light. That's a huge difference. What I want to look into the deck is the four of pentacles that were not gone out. So let's see, darlings. Where he is? So here you are. Four of Pentacles we have here. Wheel of Fortune and Ace of Pentacles. I feel here the universe gave them an opportunity, but they, they didn't want to take it or they didn't want to have it. Okay? And that's why this person is thinking right now. So they, they may even seem like, well, why you could take this opportunity when why they could not? Well... It's their, their way. Because as I always say, the universe always can offer you something. But they cannot do it for you. So 
here we are. Scorpio, that's what I have for you, darlings. I hope this resonates. If it does, share with others who will, probably will need this type of information. And I'll see you next time.